Good evening. How are you? Hello, bro. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Elisa, how are you? Ernesto, nice to see you. Okay. Hi, William, hello, hello. William, Melissa, who else is here? William Alfredo, nice to see you. So let's see. Mm -hmm. The students, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, then we're gonna wait for the rest of your classmates to enter to the class. Okay, my friends. So we're going to start the class in this moment. I have the first activity. So yesterday we were talking about how much is it, okay? And today we're gonna continue talking about uh, comparatives. And to start with that topic, we're gonna practice this exercise that is related uh, with additives, okay, just to remember. Okay, this is a practice, and we're gonna find here the opposite of short. What's the opposite of short? Okay, look at this picture. What's the opposite of short? Tall. 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 Good. So the first letter is T. Next one. A. A. L L. L L L L very good. Perfect. So number seven. Number seven. Number two. The opposite of tall. Smart. No, small. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see me the right. Is next one. S M M M A. O no, it's not it's, it's not M. Oh, it's short, entonces ah, H. Ah, okay, that is H. What is it here? Uh-huh. O. O. R. R. And T. And T, very good. So, now, what's the opposite of? Ugly. Uh, beautiful. How do you spell that? B. Mm -hmm. E. Okay. A. A. Okay. T. T. I know you, 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 you. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hello, hello. Good evening. T. Good evening. T. E, ah, uh, no. R, I, I, F, Y, C. U, and L, 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 L. Okay, very good. Perfect. What's the opposite of all? Uh, junk. How do you spell that? I. G I. Yes. J. No. J. 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 Mm, no. It why? G. Ah, okay. Why? Why? Huh? O. N. N G. No, okay, very good. So, the next one, what's the opposite of John? Oh, all, all, 
O O L D. D. It is very easy. That is very short. Very easy. Yes. Perfect. What's the opposite of small? It's small. B. Okay. How do you spell that? B. I. I. N. G. G. Yes. No, G. Me sentí horrible. The opposite of short. Long. Tall. Tall. No, long, long, because it's short. Okay. Large. L. Uh -huh. L. A. A. R G A No <laughs> A you say A <laughs> No U U no, no. N and D mm. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D that is long. Long, long. The opposite of long. Short. Short. That's I, perdón. T. T. Short. C. Oh, C. No. <laughs> no, no, it's S. 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 H. H. O. R. T. Yes. O H I O I R R me. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, next one. The opposite of a slow. A uh, slow is fast. F okay. A F A T A S T. Very good. The opposite of big. The small. <laughs> okay, how do you spell that? S M S M A A L L L L small. Okay, perfect. <laughs> What's the opposite of fast? Fast is slow. 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 How do you say it? S, S L O N Y W. W W W W. W. Yes, very good. That's perfect. And do that. Bravo, very no, good job. No. That's very good. A very excellent punctuation. <laughs> so now let's see. Your score was very good. So now let's continue with the next activity. Is this is a video that we are going to watch? It's related to adjectives and comparatives. Okay, so let's see. Is let me see. It's this one. Well, we we'll finish this. We we'll continue. So I'm gonna share with you the uh, video. I just want you to please pay attention. This is a uh, ad comparative adjectives. Okay. So let pay attention. Concentrate. Okay. ESL Library. Comparative adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can give us information such as the size or age of a noun. Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun, 
or describe how someone is feeling. We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives tell us how one noun is different from the other. For example, she is taller than him. This painting is more beautiful than that painting. My brother looks happier than my sister. <laughs> how are comparative adjectives formed in English? It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. For one-syllable adjectives, we add ER to the adjective. For example, short becomes shorter. If the adjective ends in a consonant-vowel consonant pattern, we double the final consonant before adding ER. For example, big becomes bigger. For two-syllable adjectives that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ER. For example, hungry becomes hungrier and noisy becomes noisier. For adjectives that are two syllables or more, we use the word more before the adjective. For example, Modern becomes more modern, and expensive becomes more expensive. Some comparative adjectives in English don't follow the usual rules. For example, the adjective good becomes better in the comparative form. Bad becomes worse, and far becomes farther or further. The most common sentence pattern for comparative adjectives in English is subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus object. Let's look at some examples of comparative adjectives in a sentence. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. Rock music is better than classical music. My dog is lazier than my cat. The singer is more famous than the actor. My boots are more expensive than your shoes. Look at the adjective. Say or write the comparative adjective. For example, tall, taller. Now you try. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is just a video to remember the comparatives. And uh, here in the next exercise, we are going to practice the spelling. Yes, let me see. I have this. Okay, let's listen. Mm -hmm. There you are, the link, Rosa. Okay, so now let's see the next activity. Is um, so you finish this, we continue with it. Okay, 
So now that we have uh, watched the video, you're welcome, Rose. Now that you have watched the video, we are going to study these uh, rules in algorithm exercise. And it's, no, it's not that one. Let me see. It's this one. Okay, so it says the comparative adjectives. And here we have some of the rules. Let me see. This one, okay. So it says one syllable adjective. For example, long, the comparative is longer. Tall, taller, as you, as you uh, saw in the previous uh, video. Straight. Excuse me, teacher. Eh, ese enlace que usted envió es de YouTube. <laughs> a ver, vamos a ver qué les mandé. <laughs> a mí me abrió YouTube. que ahorita no veamos mm, si sí es el video el que envió el enlace si sí le sale a usted el video, video. si sí, sale si sí sale si sí, el video es mis ah ok ok hay que revisar mis tal vez este hay que revisar otro ratito entonces, quizás en lo que se descarga ok so now let's see the next activity um Okay, comparatives. So the, this exercise is for you to practice um four of these additives. Let me see. Let me see yes a moment. Just a moment. Okay. Okay, for example, I was saying long, the adjective, the adjective, the base form of the adjective is long. Now the comparative is longer, this one. Tall, taller, straight, straighter, large, larger, big, bigger, hot, hotter. In this case, you w the t, and they are one syllable adjective. Long, tall, straight, large, big, hot. Now we have two syllable adjective. For example, honest. Honest, it has two syllable. Happy, narrow, this one, narrow. Okay, it, it has two syllable division. Okay, it says crazy, gentle, famous. Okay, it is two syllable division. Uh, different than this one. This one is one syllable, long, straight, Long, straight, big, tall, large, hot. One syllable division. Two syllable division is honest, happy, narrow, famous, crazy, gentle. Yes, two syllable division. Now we have three or more syllable. For example, expensive. It has three. Popular. Confident. It has three. Dangerous. Beautiful. And difficult. It has three syllable division. 
And then we have some irregular adjectives. For example, good is no gooder, is better, the comparative. Bad is no better, is worse. So it's irregular. Far is farther. Many, more. Little, less. Far, further. So you can write it in these two ways. The comparative of far. So these are the rules and we have to read them again. I'm gonna share the link with you because you have to read the, the, the rules. We have to practice. In fact, we're gonna practice this exercise to memorize, internalize, and be conscious about the written form of these adjectives, comparative adjectives. So it says, and now we are comparing here. These are the adjectives, the comparative adjectives um, by themselves, isolated. But here we are using the comparatives in context, okay? For conversation, for speaking. Number one, my brother is older than me. We are comparing two people. The rabbits, ears are longer than the cat's ears. So we are comparing here. What are we comparing here in the number two? Are we comparing apples? Class? Is compared ears. Uh-huh. The cat's ears. Very good. We are comparing rabbit ears and cat's ears. Very good. Spain is hotter than Finland. We are comparing two different places. He is nicer than his friend. We are comparing two different people. I am happier than you. I am comparing myself with another person. My father is cleverer than me. I am comparing my father with me. Okay, I am more intelligent. Remember that because we are using intelligent, intelligent, it has four syllable division. So we use more like this, more and more. I am more intelligent than my sister. Maths is more difficult, difficult than English. So we use more because the adjective is long is large number four rm is better than barça real madrid right barça is worse than real madrid i'm not sure china is farther than france okay just for example and based on this you are going to write here you are you have here the adjective and you're gonna write the comparative in this part, you have uh, the comparison. You're going, you have to compare these two things or people or animals. For example, I am, in this case, tall than uh -huh. my brother. Uh -huh. But what is the comparative of short? Look at here, short. What is the comparative yeah. of short? Uh, shoulder. Shorter. No. Okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> so we are going to, okay, right here, the sentence. Okay, this jacket is cheaper than, cheaper than that jacket. When we use the comparative of the adjectives, we have to use than. In the next part, so it has uh, this, uh, Direction. It says write these sentences in the correct order, okay? And in the last one, you are going to select what's the correct uh, option of the adjective. This is a listening part. One. Who is younger, Janet or Edith? Okay. Who is younger, Janet or Edith? Janet. 
Okay, done at this younger. Very good. Okay, so this exercise we're going to work in groups. This exercise. Let me see. I'm going to share the link with you here in the chat. Ahorita, Gabriela. <laughs> ya lo estamos compartiendo el link. Ok. Vean si pueden abrir este último link porque es el que vamos a trabajar en clase. So, it's the one that we're going to work in groups. Remember that in your group, you have to share your screen, complete, discuss together, and collaborate with your classmates. Ok. We're going to work in group of three. Let me see. Okay, very good. And a recommendation before I continue with the groups. Remember that you have to complete the exercise in the platform. Remember that you have to practice uh, for example, on the weekends or maybe one once a week can be Friday afternoon or Friday night. And you can practice with your classmates, okay? To study, to study more. Okay, I'm going to open the rooms. Please go to the room and complete the exercise. In groups, it's not individual. It's in group, with your group. Okay, please get into your room. Everybody, get into your room. Okay, Abigail. El comparativo ¿verdad? que vamos entonces, a usar entonces solo tenemos que irlo rellenando nada más no tenemos que todo o solo una parte todo, todo. pues entiendo que esa parte verdad esto es primero y dos hasta ya y edit creo que así hasta ahí creo que bueno solo hay uno más después de ese Ok, entonces en el primero en Dangerous sería More Dangerous, ¿sí va? Sí, More Dangerous. Yo quería preguntar si hay alguna regla para esto, si solo es de aprendérselo y ya. Hello, Gabriela. Ay, hola. <risa> Esa es la parece? intención. Esa es la intención en el ejercicio. Once you practice and practice and practice and practice, you, eh, you memorize it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you need to practice the today's exercises to, um, to start eh, memorizing the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay? Y para saber, por ejemplo, en este, en Healthy, ¿Mm? aquí experimento o busco en Google. ¿Qué cosa, Miss? Eh, en la tarjeta comparativa, en la tarjeta morada, perdón. Abajo mm -hmm. de, creo que dice Healthy, no sé cómo se pronuncia. 
tengo que poner sí, el comparativo, ¿verdad? Pero este, sí, no sé, no aquí, ah. permítame, aquí una de ustedes tiene que compartir la pantalla para completar, ah. porque así estamos adivinando. Okay, aquí una, una de las tres que comparta y la que comparte completa, pero entre las tres discuten, ¿sí? Ok. ¿Cómo comparto pantalla aquí? Share screen. Ahora sí, me ven en la pantalla. Sí, sí. Yes. No, yo no, no, no puedo ver la suya. Yo no sé, yo no sé si lo estoy haciendo bien. Yo sí, yo sí lo miro, Miss. Sí lo miro. Dice, usted está compartiendo pantalla, Gabriela L.C. Ramírez. Vaya, aquí le preguntaba. O sea, no, no dijo en Google cómo se tiene que escribir. No, Miss. Ahí arriba tiene las reglas. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ah, ya uh -huh. Entonces, en conjunto, revisen las reglas y lo van escribiendo. Y ya okay. como último recurso, pues ya lo google. Ok. Va, estoy, ya entendí. Oh. Lo contrario de loco. Lo, lo contrario de loco, eso es lo que estamos poniendo. Lo contrario de loco. Ah. Ay, no. Y se loco el... sería bueno. Good. <ríe> Ese era el ejercicio, poner lo contrario. Excuse me. Listen, listen, you have to read the instructions. Scroll up, go up, scroll up. Ajá. It says, Add it. No, 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 no. Scroll down. Go down. Ajá, the instruction. Adjective comparative, not opposite. Adjective. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Don't play the dangerous. 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 Uh -huh. And you have, and you have in the, in the previous part, to have the explanation. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cosmo is... Older than Dad, sus, this car is, is more expensive than the previous Sí. Imagínate, my bike is better. Better. Than your car. Your house is bigger. Oh. Aunque okay, ahí en bigger es doble G y no I. Ay, gracias. <laughs> eh, English is easy. Easy. German. The blue dress is. Ah, uh, no hay excepción. No, solo habían tres excepciones: better, worse y y far. Nice. Ya. Ahí sí ya no sé. Mm. Porque no, nicer no creo que queda así. Me parece que, ajá, probablemente sí. Pero yo creo que es nice hasta la E. Bueno, no sé. No sé si, no sé. Aquí tampoco quedaría nice here. 
No, no creo, no. no. But nice, nice has just one. Ah, that's correct. Nice has just one syllable division. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice. Nice, oh. you add ER. In that case, yes, R. Because it has one syllable. Nice. Okay. Thank okay. you, Miss. I say... eh, eh, y en el caso de safe, entonces, perdón. De arriba a la izquierda, abajo de healthy. Safer. Ah, safer. Pero la I, ahí entonces estaría de más. Sí, porque solo es una sílaba. Otra que llamo. Healthy. son dos sílabas. Sí, esa sí está bien. Ah. Creo que solo es la era de corregir. Uh, fast is fast. Yeah. Y ahí, your mask are bad words. Sería la opción. Worse than mine. Make is in Zilla. Where is he? A gorilla. Stronger. Ah, perdón. A snake is thinner. Uh -huh. Pero sería solo con una N o. o... O, so, o la consonante se... ¿Cómo le podría decir? Como faster, ¿verdad? Que, que dobla la, la T. No sé si aquí doblaría la N también. O sea, poner doble N, perdón. Y quedaría así o solo con una consonante. A ver. Faster, thinner. Yo creo que sí, porque igual son dos sílabas, ¿no? Y la última sería Gorilla is... Sería Thinner Dan. Thinner Dan, sí, sí. Eh, a Gorilla is strong. Stronger sería. Dan. Dan Mon. Me cuesta bastante. Yeah. Acá dice read this sentence in, in the correct order. Escribirlas en, en el correcto orden. Sería the weather's getting yeah. worse. Bueno. Y me equivoco en una letra siempre avísame porque lo que escribo rápido. Okay. La segunda sería Gold is more expensive than paper. Gold is paper. Gold is more expensive than paper. You are. Stronger. Luego sería English. Is better. 
it's getting better. It's getting better than me. Sí. Bueno, yo creo que es My English is getting better Y el Dan no está Y acá sería Okay, my friends. I'm gonna take your attendance list in the in this moment, okay? So it says Abigail Elizabeth. It's present. Okay. So next one is Ana Maria Garcia. Ana María García, ok, bueno. Ok. Andrea Alejandra Peña. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Andrea. Diana Magali Boquín. Present me. Ok. Diana Saraí Alférez. Present teacher. Ok. Next one is Emma Débora Rodas. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Ernesto José Arias. I mean, this person. Hello. And Eva Margarita Osorio. <clears throat> no, okay. Eh, Gabriela Elise Ramírez. Then Present. Jessica. Okay. This is Jessica Melanie. Present teacher. Okay. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Joana. Eh, Lester Fernando. Present. Okay, very good. Next one is Melissa Giselle. Present. Noel Eduardo Maya. Present. Thank you. Novia Daisy Ramirez de Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Alexander Belloso. Present teacher. I'm sorry, I wasn't in, in home. I left ah. late. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for reporting. Now, next one is Rebecca Lisette. Lisbeth. Rebecca. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Yes, she was there, okay. Thank you, Saira Abigail. <clears throat> Silvia Noemi Campos. More. Present. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Carolina. Present. All. Very good. Swanny Marilais. Swanny, no. 
Wilder Gabriel? Present, teacher. Okay, William Alfredo. I am here, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's see the next activity. Older oh, uh -huh. We're going to work together this activity, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue practice uh, an exercise similar to this previous one for because I got a, the idea that you confuse just a little bit. But we're gonna practice. This is this is just a matter of practice. Okay, you practice and practice and you master the topic. Okay, so this exercise is this one. I'm going to share with you the the screen so you will see the exercise that we are going to com to complete okay and this is going to be individual this is going to be individual i'm just going to ask you to open your cameras because it's going to be individual so it says the rules of comparative spelling and it says uh comparatives short words in general, we add ER. For example, small, smaller. Words ending in Y, do change the Y and write I E R. Easy, easier. Long mm -hmm. words, do add more in the adjective. For example, interesting, more interesting. So this is for long words. Now it says short words with more than one syllable double the letter, the last letter. For example, thin, thinner. This is one syllable, thin, thin, and the W the consonant, the last consonant, thinner. And that is the comparative. So based on that, you read the rules here and you complete according to the rules. When you finish at the end, you will have the answers. But these answers, you are going to check it when you finish. No es que van a estar copiando, no. When you finish, you compare. But don't, don't, uh, don't see the answers. First, we have to effort. We have to make the best effort to remember and to write. Then we can come. We can compare with the answers. Is it clear? No clear. Yes. Okay. Very good. So I'm gonna share yes. with you here. You have the link there. Okay. Check the link. Open the link, and start completing the exercise. And open your camera. I just want you to see you are working. Open your camera. Emma, Ernesto, Abigail, Wilder, Andrea, Stephanie, Diana, Lester, Gabriela. So open your camera and start completing the exercise. Go ahead, please. Hizo grupos, teacher. No, it's individual. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Finish, please. Yes, tell me. Diana, nos estás compartiendo la pantalla. Perdón, teacher. No, no sé. yo <ríe> es ah. que para enseñarle la, las, las words, palabras, bueno, las adjectives. Eh. Ah, ok, very good, very good. Ok, remember that you can compare. Scroll down and you'll see the answers to compare. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Compare las allí primero. Ah, ok, ah, uh -huh. aquí está el botón de finish. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Continue there, continue. Just let me uh, see. Eva Margarita Osorio is here. No. Rebecca Lisette Bonilla. No. Uh, Zaira Villail Carrillo. No. And Suani. No, okay. When you finish, you can send your result to the WhatsApp group. Mandamos la captura al grupo, Miss. Please, please. Ok.
you finish? Yes, miss. Okay, who says yes? Silvia. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay, my friends, remember that you have to complete the platform. If you have some difficulties, just let me know. I can help you out. And, uh, and uh, well, we work in different groups. If you think that um, you need some somebody to to help you out also with the with the exercises, you can contact one of your classmates that are here to complete the exercises together, right? Okay. Sometimes is it a good idea to to work with a partner, with a friend, to encourage and to motivate to to complete the exercises, okay, or to compare answers also if you want. Okay, my friends, for today is gonna be everything. Have a nice weekend. Continue studying these days. And I'm going to see you on Monday, okay? Okay. Good night. Yeah, bye. Okay. Thank you for your time. I'm going to see you Monday. Happy weekend. Bye. See you on Monday, teacher. See you. Thank you, Miss. Have Good a nice day. Nice Good night. weekend. Good night, guys. Thank you. Good night, Good everybody. Day. Good night, teacher. Good night, see everybody. Thank you. See you on Monday, yes. Study, bye -bye. study, okay? Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night, my friends. I'm going to see you on Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm.